Hi, let's continue our discussion of auto layout. And uh, so far we, we created a, you know, a button and we placed it in the center of the screen. And that's pretty good. Sometimes you want to put something right in the middle. And our, or you can see our thing is working pretty good here. Um, you know, it's got, uh, you know, it's got the button in the center of the screen. And when I, you know, rotate the screen, then, you know, it changes and it's still, but the button is still in the middle, right? So it's working pretty good. Um, there's a few other issues that we want to work with. So one of those issues is that, uh, you know, sometimes you don't want to have an element just in the center. What you want to do is you want to align an element to one of the edges, you know, something like this, or maybe you want to place it over here, right? Or maybe you want to put two of these side by side, or maybe you want to put one at the bottom, but it wants to be, you know, the width of the screen, you know? And you can see when I do these things, the preview doesn't show them, and auto layout is telling me that the, my constraints are not being recognized, or I'm not, you know, my the position of my object here isn't matching what the constraints say, right? So the dotted line is showing me where this should go, and then the orange lines are telling me that these constraints aren't valid anymore, or they're, or they're not reflecting what we're seeing on the screen, okay? So let's imagine now what I want to do is I want to take this button and I want to place it in the upper left corner and, um, you know, resize it something like this. Okay. So, um, and we could, we could update the constraints here. Okay. So we could try this and this might work. Um, yeah, it seemed to work okay, right? Um, and it looks all right here. Oh, wait, got a problem there, right? Okay, and that's because our constraints are not quite, you know, you know, I use the center align, but really this isn't a center align circumstance, right? So let's, let's start over again. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all the constraints. There we go. Okay, and so now this looks pretty good. And placing something in the upper left, you know, um, is the easiest one. So actually, you know, without any constraints, this actually kind of works out. Um, but let's, let's do it now with some constraints, okay? So one of the constraints that we can use is um, the, the distance between the container element and the element that is being constrained. So we can place a, a requirement that, it, that this element always keep the same distance between its left edge and the left edge of the container and its top edge and the top of the container. And that would do a pretty good job of keeping it in this corner, right? So uh, to do that, there's a couple ways, ways to, to approach it. I'm gonna do it using the menu here. So I'll click on the button and I'll choose editor and I'm gonna go to the pin menu and I'm gonna choose pin leading space to super view. So leading space is the space on the left edge. So think left leading, okay? And when I choose that, you can see I get a little bar here and that's my distance to the super view. So the super view is actually the view that contains the current view. So, you know, this panic button is contained inside this view. So it's gonna be the distance to that, to the edge of this view, okay? Because this would be the super view in this case. Okay, and you can see, you know, auto layout is giving me a red arrow here saying like, hey, I don't have enough information to place this element. And you can see here, I've got the distance here, but the top and the width and height are missing still. So now let's do this. I'm gonna go to the editor. Wait, I gotta click on it again. I'll go to the editor and choose pin um, top space to super view, okay? And you can see here, there's another, another bar there. And now I've got the space here and the space here pinned. The size of the button you know, needs to be set. So I'll need to do the same thing we did before and I'll need to add um, pin width and pin height. Oops, I gotta click on it again. Ah, and there we go. Now it's aligned to the upper left. And if I rotate, you can see, oh, same distance here and here, same width and height. Okay. So there's a, a simple layout using um, auto layout. And we'll do more of this. I'm just keeping these videos short to make them easy to watch.